top headlines for the day. The two khans of Bollywood have truly buried the hatchet and moved on, but who knew they would be together through thick and thin to the extent of promoting each other's films? Well, the trend began with Bajrangi Bhaijaan and Dilwale. In fact, even in his latest venture, Dear Zindagi, there is a mention of Salman Khan. Is this gesture SRK's way of acknowledging Salman for having a dialogue in Sultan, which mentions Shah Rukh's name? Now, moving on to SRK's latest release, apparently Salu shared a shirtless picture to celebrate King Khan's latest release, Dear Zindagi. The picture shows the ravishing and irresistible Salman bare-chested, proudly flaunting his abs with the caption, Enjoy Dear Zindagi, Alia SRK on Anti-Obesity Day, India Fights Obesity, Dear Muffy, I am in. Are you? Be wise to be healthy and wealthy. Wow, don't you think linking Dear Zindagi to Anti-Obesity Day was a really innovative idea, Salman? Keep posting your comments about this Karan Arjun reunion. Impending motherhood does not seem to stop the unstoppable Kareena Kapoor Khan, who is all glowing and gushing more and more as the date of her delivery is fast approaching. Almost towards the end of her third trimester, Bebo is seen parting hard with her buddies. Besides her girl gang, Habi Saif Ali Khan and Salman Khan too were present. Well, the presence of Romanian beauty Lulia Vantur, whose relationship status with Salman is shrouded with mystery, is sure to raise many eyebrows. Speculations about the duo parting ways seem to have been put to rest, as Lulia was also spotted at Salman's house for his stepmom Helen's birthday celebration. Coming back to the party, which seems to have been planned impromptu, was a rage where everyone seemed to be having a good time going by the pictures posted by Amrita Arora. The picture seems to be speaking a thousand words as Bebo proudly flaunts a baby bump while happily posing. Do take a look at the pictures and post your thoughts in the comment section. SRK has once proved that he is indeed the true Baksha of Bollywood. His film The Azindagi has created ripples at the box office. It is a known fact that SRK has a huge fan following both in India and abroad. These fans are eager to relish every second of their superstar on screen. It is no wonder that SRK ka jadu box office pe chal gaya. The film's opening at the box office gained unprecedented success and going by the numbers, it has weaved magic both in the domestic as well as international shores. On the first day itself, the Dear Zindagi's UAE GCC collection and USA Canada was Rs 5.40 crore and Rs 5.05 crore respectively. UK, Australia and New Zealand fans thronging theatres up the collection by Rs 0.38 crore, 0.27 crore and 0.09 crore respectively. In other countries across the globe, the film earned 1.50 crore. In the domestic show too, the film earned a whooping rupees 8.75 crore. As the movie continues to earn rave reviews from fans and critics alike, there is a lot of promise that the revenue will soar stupendously. Overall, the film has managed to collect approximately Rs 21 crore worldwide, which is no small feat. Do stay tuned for further updates and share your views with us. Just yesterday, we had reported how Dear Zindagi had fed in the UAE and UK box office on its first day itself with a commendable collection of Rs 1.19 crore. Trade analyst Taran Adarsh, who had earlier tweeted about the overseas release, was positive about the Indian box office collections and once the numbers of the first day were out, his prophecy seems to have come true. Yes, Dear Zindagi did collect Rs 8.75 crore on the first day. The movie, directed by English Winglish famed director Gauri Shinde, was screened in more than 1200 screens in India and in more than 600 screens abroad. The viewers were thronging to theatres to catch a glimpse of the unusual pair of SRK with leading lady Alia, who is almost half his age. Besides making the box office jingle, the film also won applause from both fans as well as 
critics who love the simplicity of the concept which touched their heart. Well, viewers, have you caught the action yet? Do let us know. It is common for tempers to fly within the big boss house. However, this time the air was filled with a tension when host Salman walked out of the show in anger. What angered the tiger? Apparently, the housemates are fed up of Swami Om's night remarks about his contestants and are at their wits' ends, having tried to warn and boycott him to make him mend his ways. Nothing seems to be working despite being warned by Big Boss himself. This weekend Gavard episode was full of excitement. However, the mood soon turns sour. What went wrong? Well, Salman takes Swami Om for passing unparliamentary remarks on the ladies in the house and derogating their character. Salman apparently even folded hands, requesting the Swami to remain within limits but in vain. The last straw came when despite a warning, Swami Om made loose comments on Captain Rohan Mehra's parents. This irked the housemates to no end and made host Salman lose his cool and walk out of the show. He later returned and tried to enlighten the atmosphere as the show must go on. So, did you enjoy this weekend Kabar episode? Share your views in the comment section. The British beauty Katrina Kaif is known for her stunning looks and hourglass perfect figure. Indian or Western, she dazzles in any attire. Recently, she exuded oomph as she wore a Melissa Oda Bash Zuma swimsuit for a photo shoot at the sets of Bazaar Bright. Well, she surely has upped the temperature by quite a few notches. Set in the backdrop of a pristine white beach located in the picturesque Maldives, Katrina's deliberately left unkept dresses seem to have a language of their own as they frame her face. The diva looked ravishing as she arced her back seductively in the photo shoot. Sizzling hot Katrina did turn the heat on this winter. Don't you think this Chikni Chameli looks ravishingly sexy in this seductive swimsuit? Do share your views in the comment section and stay tuned for more pictures, updates and gossip straight from Bollywood. The hot and sizzling Elena Kazin, who bears a stark resemblance to the sexy British beauty Katrina Kaif, made an entry into the Big Boss house as a wildcard contestant. This is not the first time that a contestant resembling the Chikni Chameli cat has come to the show. In the previous session, actress Mandina Karimi, the Iranian beauty, had entered the show as a contestant and in the seventh innings, we all remember Ellie Avram. It is no secret that Salman Khan seems biased to these international divas. Was it due to their resemblance to ex flame cat? Well, it's history repeating itself the third time around with the entry of German Russian actress Elena, whose resemblance to Katrina is simply uncanny. So, does that make her a potential favourite of host Salman? Do you think Elena will be this season's wildcard contestant? Post your views in the comment section and stay tuned for more updates on NTV. Dilwale Dulhaniya Le Jayenge is one of the best romantic films ever made and the Palat scene can truly be called one of the most memorable scenes. However, this romantic, intense scene was recently recreated at the Big Boss 10 show, albeit with a comic twist. In a recent Weekend Karwar episode of the immensely popular reality show Big Boss, host Salman mimicked SRK in the Palat scene. The dignified diva Vidya Balan too joined him in the scene when she had come to the show to promote her soon-to-be-releasing film Kahani 2. Salubhai was also seen enacting the signature arm spread pose of SRK, which garnered a lot of applause from the viewers. Truly, the episode was a power-packed, fun-filled episode with a different take on TDLJ. Well, we wonder what Raj Shah Rukh Khan would have to say about this hilarious and comic twist to one of the best masterpiece films. Meanwhile, do let us know if you too enjoyed watching this new version of TDLJ. Alright, so Salman the Sultan of Bollywood presently is asking the Colors channel to put a huge cut in his Being Human Foundation. For all those who always have seen and watched the highs and lows of the reality show Big Boss have always loved to see Pi on the show.
However, no one actually realized that it is a fat sum of around 7 to 8 crores that Bhai gets for this. This time Salman has been even more upfront and has asked the channel to transfer a huge sum to his Being Human Foundation. We all know that Salman always focuses on his foundation and now with this huge sum, he's sure gonna benefit a big time, hey na? Salman is the face of Big Boss and many have always loved to see the reality show only because of him. Bajrangi Bhaijan Salman Khan's big-heartedness knows no bounds. His charitable foundation has been involved in numerous social and educational activities for the betterment of society. That's not all. The Bhai himself has shown his benevolent side time and again. Recently, Salman got to know about a 14-year-old boy, Chirak Pometkar, was suffering from a chronic kidney disease and had to undergo dialysis every alternate day. When the box office king was told that Chirak's family was financially very weak and was struggling to save his life, Salman stepped in and donated a whooping 6.8 lakhs for Chirak's kidney transplant. This act has saved a life and left an everlasting impression on Chirak's family who are forever indebted to the Khan. Truly, in this world of materialist people, Salman stands apart. What do you think about this being human act? Do share your views in the comment section. Salman Khan is a man with a heart of gold. Salman has been in the news for many of the offbeat reasons, but this guy through his foundation Be Human is indeed doing a lot of good work. Salman Khan, despite being at the peak of his career and with such a busy schedule, keeps his eyes on social causes always. Recently, Salman Khan has donated 40 lakh rupees for a kid who was born with two heads. Yes, you're reading it right, it is two heads and this can be like living hell for the kid. But not anymore, thanks to Salman Khan who is supporting his surgery and further treatment. One good deed also is great and Salman Khan is doing amazing work with his Being Human NGO by saving several people in need. Salman Khan is known to love kids and this exemplary thing he has done. Being one of the topmost actors of Bollywood and with such a busy schedule, he took out time for the kid and helped him out.